currently I am in Niti Aayog, that is the think tank of the government of India. I am chairing a, a special sale on land policies. Land policies mean all aspects of land policies, land records, land leasing, management of land, and you know how we resolve conflicts, all kinds of things that are related to land policies. And uh, in this particular you know, conference, that we, this is the first ever attempt in India to organize this kind of event where we are first of all trying to create a forum in which both government and non-government organizations come together and discuss some of the key and critical land issues. And one of the critical land issues uh, we have suggested, uh, the, the number one is regular updation and digitization of land record. Uh, because without appropriate land record and up-to-date land record, Personally, we feel that no investment will come in the agriculture sector or even in the rural sector for other agro-industrial development and all that. So this is very critical in our context that we regularly update and also digitize. We have been trying to do something, but then certain things are missing. The system is not yet efficient. The system is not yet very transparent. The system is not yet very people-friendly. So unless you do it that way, involving the community participation and all that, probably will not be able to do as expeditiously as possible or as needed. And also there will be a lot of conflicts and you know in the process of investment and development. So this is number one priority of the government and also we try to resolve this through dialogue. This is one. Second thing is you know land rights of women is equally important because globally and also in India, this is in a very bad shape. And unless you give secure and equal land rights to women, uh, they are not able to contribute much to productivity growth in agriculture and also you know, outside agri no, agriculture. So this is another area which is very important. Third is land leasing reform. Like in the wake of independence, the various state governments enacted laws which uh, restrict tenancy, agriculture tenancy. People, if, if the farmers are not interested in doing cultivation, they cannot lease out land because they feel insecure. If they lease out illegally, then they will lose their land rights. So they don't, they keep the land fallow, underutilized, but at the same time they don't lease out. So now we are trying to frame a legal framework and institutional arrangement by way of which the leasing will be legal by all categories of farmers and landowners. And particularly for agriculture, allied activities, including agro-processing, uh, I think this should be allowed now, legally. So this will be a big change in the sense now no land will be kept fallow, the labor force that is available will be fully utilized, there will be migration of people from agriculture to non-agriculture because uh, if they are not happy with agriculture, they can invest in non-agriculture, do something else. So with all these ideas, I think we are organizing this, but at, at the same time, there are several issues relating to management of public land, common property resources, uh, forest lands and also there are huge land conflicts in some of the you know, you know, traditional areas where customary land tenure exists, indigenous people live and uh, they don't have an alternative source of livelihood and at the same time sometime we try to acquire their land and dislodge them. So and there is no proper land record so they cannot even claim for how to go about it. So again the importance of land record comes here and also how do we address all these issues which uh, you know, as I say, this makes the system, land administration or land governance system, efficient, participatory, people friendly, and also, I think, minimization of conflicts and all. So, this is all.